Hello, good evening. Thank you for joining me again. I have spent a chunk of today in my greenhouse planting seeds. I love planting seeds. There is something truly amazing about seeds. They look different from one another. Different varieties look different from one another. Although I have noticed today that tomato seeds and sweet pepper seeds are remarkably similar. And perhaps that makes it all the more amazing that they grow into different things. How does one small light colored seed know that it's supposed to become a tomato plant? And the other one that looks very similar knows it's meant to become a sweet pepper plant. I know that there's science behind it and that if I understood enough, I might be able to explain how it is that something so small contains the right plant DNA to become what it's meant to be. So you plant the seed and then they, then they begin to grow and a whole new level of amazingness emerges. So a radish right from the beginning of its life has green leaves and a red spindly stem that will become given the proper growing conditions, a crunchy spicy addition to your salad. Even when it's only an inch high, you can see what it is and what it will become. One of the things that I'm growing this year that at the moment is going better than last year when I failed completely is celery. Like most seeds, when it first germinates, those first two leaves, the seed leaves, look like lots of other things. But after a couple of weeks, when the plant is still around an inch tall, the celery leaves begin to grow. And even though they are very tiny, they look like celery leaves. And if you were to pull one off and rub it between your fingers, it would smell like celery. Even when it's really tiny, it knows what, it's, what it is. I could talk about my seedlings for a long time. And if you happen to be a gardener too, you will probably understand the way that I feel. But uh, I find that working in the garden and the greenhouse speaks to me so much of the journey of faith. There are times when you are just like a seed. The potential is there, but nothing's happening yet. There are times when you're like a tiny seedling. Growth has begun, but it's not big or strong and you need the right conditions in order to grow further. And of course, there are times when you are big and strong and fruitful. About a year ago, I planted some purple sprouting broccoli seeds Almost all the plants have been providing me with a purple sprouting harvest for the last oh, six weeks or so. But there's been one plant that hasn't sprouted. It's big and healthy and beautiful, but there has been no purple sprouting. Now, I have a plan for what's going to go in the space that it's currently occupying. And for the last couple of weeks, I've been looking at this big, healthy plant and debating pulling it out and putting it on the compost heap but for some reason I haven't actually done it. And this afternoon, you've guessed, I noticed that there is finally a head of broccoli beginning to show. And I guess that's like the journey of faith as well, that sometimes we think we're never gonna get there, whatever there looks like, that it's never gonna happen, whatever it is, that the fruit is never going to form. And sometimes suddenly we are surprised. God surprises us because his timing is so often different from ours. That was where I found God in my day today. Now I guess I just have to be patient and put what I've learned into practice. As ever, I'm going to finish with a prayer. And as ever, if you'd like to make it yours, feel free to stick an amen in the comments. Father God, help us not to be in a rush but to try to keep in step with your timing for us. Amen. Thank you for joining me. See you again soon, I hope. Bye for now.